don't mind my look right now i've just woken up thought i'd do a bit of filming throughout today and like the next couple of days because i have some very exciting stuff going on and today i'm starting my new job at a travel agency that i've always wanted to work at the only thing that i'm stressed about is my outfit because we need to wear like business attire and like i've never really owned a business attire so i went shopping with mom and i just don't know if it's good i want a bit of a tight schedule so i'm just gonna go make some breakfast and then we can get changed. I don't know what to expect <laughs> like I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna be like the only new person here if there's gonna be multiple people <laughs> what if my outfit's wrong like I'm just so bad with like formal wear like I'm always just in active wear I mean I've always wanted to have like a formal outfit for my job I just don't like planning it myself <laughs> so I'm just in the car park and I'm about to go in <gasps> I'm scared I'm scared Today's gonna be a long day. It's from 9 till 5.30, so wish me luck and I'll see you guys after. Okay, um, so I'm just on like a lunch break now and it is going very well. Got an iced latte too. Love iced lattes. I wonder if it will be good. Nah. Anyway, I got myself some banana bread and then a salad from Soul Origin. Beautiful. I hope I don't spill this on me because that is gonna. Oh my outfit. We've got an hour. I don't really know what to do with an hour. Okay, yeah, so I've just been like getting the hang of things and seeing how everything works and answering a few phone calls, all of that sort of stuff. I just like I can't believe that I'm actually working there. Like I remember sitting in that this exact place on the exact desk that I'm at with my dad booking a cruise and I thought like one day I'd absolutely love to work here. And now I'm just like looking at my login details like What? That was really fun. Today at the start of the day, I just kind of started off learning how to answer phones and do some sort of reception stuff, just like getting familiar with everything. And then just before I got to sit in on someone's consultation. And that was really interesting, just seeing how like everything works behind the scenes. Like I've, I've booked a holiday through them before, but it's cool seeing it from their perspective. Um, just amazing how much everyone knows. Like they know all the hotels and train stations and like, every country in Europe like people here just know so much so it's gonna be awesome to like learn more yeah I got my own desk it's very exciting they had like um this little streamer thing on the desk which was really cute and like a welcome sign and next week I have training at Glenelg um which is their like head office this which I'm really excited to do because place heading home now and i'm probably going to go to f45 in an hour just to do like a class because i don't want to drive all the way up here like all the way home and then all the way back to go to the gym which is like i'm just in like a weird phase right now where i'm not really heaps motivated to go to the gym but yeah, i'll see you guys when i get home made myself some dinner i've just got like a cold flatbread with some cheese roast chicken and some salad I've just finished f45 and had a shower and my arms are so sore like they're actually shaking right now, so I'm going to need to put you down. For the past couple of weeks, I just haven't really been feeling the gym, so I've been trying to find some new ways to do workouts, and I've been going to F45 more and doing walks, but today I just felt like doing something at home, like a little bit of a high-intensity workout, and this one is from my free workout program, the 10-minute full-body hit. 
So I just went to the shops because I'm going to be filming like a cooking video. So, I got some spring onions. It's so big, like, it's in my bag. I've got some natural self-raising flour. Some Milo, because mom needs some of that. Some roast turkey slices. Vegetables. Greek yogurt for a recipe. And then some chicken breast. Just a little bit tired today. Like, I don't know why, I'm just in a little weird mood. I just feel like I'm not in a very social mood today. Like yesterday I was fine, I was happy, blah, blah, blah. But today I'm just like, don't wanna do anything, don't wanna see anyone, just wanna like, be in my own little bubble. I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast. I've been using this a lot lately. It's the Botanical Brands Quick um, Protein Oats. Like normally I will like put a lot of effort into breakfast, but Lately, there's just been so much going on and I just haven't been in the mood to really do much for breakfast. Like, I don't know. I just feel very weird right now. So I've been using this and I'll show you like all you need to do. It's so easy. I put about four tablespoons in. I'll just do three in a little bit. So you just put in some boiling water. Give it a mixy mix. And you literally just let that set for like two minutes. I normally leave it for like 30 seconds. And then I'll show you what we do. And then I just add in like a little bit of almond milk, just like a little dollop. Give that a mixy mix. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I'll add in like two squares of some vegan chocolate. And this just like gives a little nice crunch and it also melts as well. It is not the most appealing thing. But it actually tastes very, very good. Trust me. You mix it and then it kind of, the chocolate kind of like starts to melt, you can see. It's good. It's good. Trust me. So I've just come outside for a bit. Going to do some emails. I get some really weird emails. Like, why do you want to send me buttons? I feel so tired. I'm currently just like playing around with this new program that I um, got. It's called InDesign. And I'm using that for my new project that I'm working on. Kind of like Word, but like a thousand times more complicated. And I'm just using that, like playing around with that, like learning how everything works. Because it is a complete new program for me and it is very confusing. But it is going to help me make my new project. Yeah, I've barely told anyone about this yet. Because it's just still like in the works, but I'm very excited for it. It's like all this weird stuff here and there. I've just been filming my meal prep video. Got these bread rolls out of the oven, got some stuff in the fridge. I just need to cook my last recipe now and then I'm done. I'm hoping to have this meal prep video up before this vlog, so I'll link it in the description if you guys wanna see the final product of all my cooking. I don't know why, but these bread rolls have just made me a bit emotional <laughs> because I have just been having a very up and down week and I've been like not sick but I've been feeling a little bit unwell and then I've been feeling sad and I've been feeling unmotivated and then I don't know there's just been a lot of things going on in my head and then the fact that I've invented a recipe just makes me really happy <laughs> Badass. where are you also designated survivor I'm watching that with Luca it is such a great show. You need to watch it. I just watched this for the petty, pathetic drama, but Designated Survivor is next level. Like, it is so, so good. It's like one of my top three shows.
Good morning, everyone. Oh, don't want to wet hair. I've just had a shower. I'm going to have more of like a chill day. I'm going to film a reel, like some active wear haul sort of thing. I need to do a bit of homework. I don't really know where to film this. So that is a thing I'm trying to figure out now. I just want something nice. Like I could go there. Yep, we'll go there. I'm just resting you on the barbecue. I really hope this doesn't fall because then my camera's gone. <coughs> I have left my phone tripod at my dad's house and I can't be bothered driving all the way there, all the way back, and I've got enough running around to do taste. So I'm going to try and make it work with this. Turn it onto video. Angle right. So I'm just going to do a bit of a, a few test shots. I am so confused. I have kept this activewear safe all week because I knew that I wanted to review it. I have lost my green top that goes with the green leggings. <laughs> well, I got anything go right. That is so annoying. Just because I love things to go wrong. I've got no ingredients in the house to make any breakfast that I want to make. Why is my hair looking like this? I can have for breakfast an up and go. I'm going to wrap up this video soon, but I just want to have a quick talk about where I'm at with like healthy eating and my mindset and body image and all that sort of stuff. Because I feel like I haven't talked about it in ages. But yeah, I feel like I'm currently at a really stable point in my life in regards to health and fitness. I have a really good balance. Like I eat what I want, when I want. Obviously I eat healthy like most of the time, but I don't even like question it or think about it. If I get takeout one night, if I get chicken parmesan or like have something that maybe might be a little bit less healthy. And that's something that I used to like really work myself up about and it took a lot of like brain processing to be like it's okay you can eat what you want i feel the most confident i have ever felt like in my body and i and i'm also at a point where i'm like eating what i want i'm not restricting myself and that's kind of what i'm all about like i hate restrictive diets and trying to encourage people to eat this and not eat that like that is not what i'm about at all and it took a bit of time like you know getting that out of me when i was in a bad spot like three four years ago and yeah, so I'm really proud and like happy with where I'm at right now. I'm feeling good, feeling confident, and I don't stress about it. Like I don't overthink what I eat in a day. I just go by the day. If you're someone who is struggling a little bit with food and body image, just know that like you are not alone. And I totally understand like it is such a hard journey and like it's not an easy thing to overcome and it does take time. You're not going to be able to like change like that but you can do it. And some of the things that have helped me is to, like you just gotta challenge yourself, like you just gotta do it. You need to think, like at the end of the day, what is going to happen so bad if I eat this thing, it is not going to do as much damage or any damage as to what we think it will. Pizza, for example, I thought that like, I'd never eat pizza again in my life because it's unhealthy. Like I go through phases where I have pizza like every week, every fortnight, sometimes multiple nights a week. Like I'll obviously, make it myself most of the time but i still see like great fitness results and i'm happy with where i'm at and i used to think that it's going to completely set me back but it is not the case at all so just try and like train why is it going so dark just try and train your mind to make these worries that you have small enough so that you eventually stop thinking about it and trust me it will happen you just need to not give these thoughts any power focus on the facts that you can have what you want when you want in moderation and in balance and it will not ruin you um but yeah, that's my little rant probably gonna wrap up this video now it's been like so random but i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please give it a like and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video